At the headline level, uh, yes, Wilbur Ross, the Commerce Secretary, is right. Uh, China can agree to buy lots more soybeans and LNG and narrow the trade gap. Uh, but fun the fundamental and strategic issues uh, are much more complex, such as intellectual property theft um, and the forced transfer of intellectual property uh, as a price of admission into the Chinese uh, economy. So my, my bottom line, Sri, is I still remember what Mike Pence, the Vice President of the United States, said to the Hudson Institute on the 4th of October. That speech basically told me that the United States and China are engaged in a long-term economic war. Call it a Cold War if you wish, Sri. But I think there are fundamental differences here uh, between the, the two largest economies in the world. So whilst in the short term, Trump might get his the best deal of the century headline uh, statement. Uh, but meantime, in the background, there are very, very fundamental, irreconcilable differences. Agreed entirely, Jonathan. So uh, come uh, March the 1st, is it going to look like this? We will get uh, the headline and China agreeing to buy more US stuff, agreeing to make some concessions on market access. And then Donald Trump tweets that he's still a tariff man and he's still committed to going all out. That really has seemed to be uh, the modus operandi uh, over the past uh, year or so as uh, this trade conflict has wore on. Rinse and repeat, right? Yes. Uh, however, the caveat here, Sri, is don't forget uh, all of us in the markets were, were very, very concerned that those tariffs would go from 10% to 25%. So I don't think America lifts them to 25%. I do think there's that big headline statement uh, that China's going to buy more goods. That's a big win for Donald Trump, and he'll present it in packages as that. And then in the meantime, we'll go through this very complicated process of trying to determine whether or not the Chinese are actually opening up their market in a, in, a, in a transparent fashion. So I think there's kind of a quick fix for the markets. And the other thing, issue three, don't forget last year, the two issues the market was far too complacent about was number one, how hawkish the Fed was going to be in terms of lifting rates four times. And number two, there was too much complacency in my view. And I think I remember in your view as well, that the, you know, the trade war was just a skirmish and it wasn't going to be anything too serious. So now we're in 2019, uh, you know, the, the Fed issue is kind of moved onto the back burner because Wall Street took control of the US Central Bank. And also, uh, uh, Donald Trump was particularly concerned by the crash in the fourth quarter. And as you know, Sri, he loves tweeting about the US stock market setting all-time record highs. He wants to get back to tweeting right. about the strength in the US stock market. So I think he does a deal. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.